Okay, so this time we're going to work out how many cars we need to wash in order to buy a Nintendo DS. Now, if you went out and you washed a car, you could possibly expect to be paid around about £5 if you did a really, really good job. So it's £5 for every car that you wash, okay? And if you do a really, really good job, the owner might give you £5 for that. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that money and we're going to go out and buy a Nintendo DS. Okay, which I think are really good. Maybe I'll get some sponsorship. Nintendo DS, brilliant. Okay, so what we did is we scoured the internet, we used our top agents, and we found out that a Nintendo DS will cost... £165. <laughs> okay, so in other words, what we need to find is £155 by washing cars at £5 a time. So in other words, how many lots of £5 are there in 155 Well, there's two ways of doing that, or two ways I'm going to show you of doing that. The first one is to use the traditional way, which is to do this sum. And we say, how many lots of 5 is there in 1? Well, there's none. And because there's, there's one still left over, then I'm going to move that one across to there, and I'm going to say, how many lots of five are there in 15? Well, there's three. And there's nothing left from that 15. So therefore, I've still got this final last little bit, how many lots of five are there in five? Well, there's one. So the answer to this question is 31 lots of five pounds. Okay? And that's one way of doing it, and it's a very good way of doing it. But another way you might look at is to write it slightly differently as 155 divided by 5. So in other words, a fraction. And if you look at some of the other videos, you can see that with a fraction, whatever you do to the top or above the line, you've got to do to the bottom. And one of the things I can see from that is that if I multiply that 5 to become 10, it's much, much easier to divide by 10. But because I've done it at the bottom, I've got to do it to the top as well. So my question now becomes 155 times 2, which is 310, divided by 5 times 2, which is 10. And if I want to divide by 10, I simply move the decimal point one place across towards the left. So there it goes and it drops across there. So in other words, the answer to the same question, 155 divided by 5, is 31. So I would have to wash 31 cars, which is a lot of cars. So I think you better get going.